All right, I'm talking about cooking chicken. Chicken stroganoff or chicken goulash. It's more like chicken stroganoff, but it's goulash because it's got peppers and paprika, so it's either called chicken stroganoff or chicken goulanoff. I have now copyrighted those words. If anyone else in the whole world ever uses them, wow, are you in for a big lawyer treat? Just like all those companies that say I cannot turn on my radio while I record myself talking. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they funny? So chicken stroglash and chicken gulanoff, one and the same. Great. But you can think of it as stroganoff and gulash mixed together, but that's what I'm going to make. And I have my half of a kilo of chicken or a bit over a pound and a quarter. Some garlic, I have a stock, chicken stock cube, two little onions, 250 grams mushrooms, two peppers, chopped one red, one yellow, some paprika and some oregano, and olive oil. I put some olive oil into my pan or pot, and then some butter. That's because I'm making stroganoff part, and they always suggest butter with that, so. And I'm a butter person, so that's what I'm using. I put in the onion to cook first, and when it's cooked for a bit, I add in the bay leaf, and the garlic, and the chicken to brown the chicken. I like to put in the paprika now so it can fry a bit and gives it a smell of fried paprika, which is different than just using peppers. And then I put in the peppers, stir them in, get them going too. Looking really nice and pretty colors! That really makes it happy. A happy meal is pretty colors, isn't it? Who told us that? Some funny clown. Oh well, and oh, a can of tomatoes chopped up. That's always nice when you want tomatoes. And the oregano, about a tablespoon. And there it goes in the stock cube. That's what that was. Stir, stir, stir. Okay, a bit of funny Greek. I have some of this, so I put it in. You can't put too much of this because it's very overpowering. And then I put in the chopped mushrooms, which always goes in the stroganoff half of it. Don't put it in the goulash part unless you want to. And some water. Um, we have really good water here. It goes through our sand dunes and comes to our house. Okay, I cooked that for a long time because eh, I wanted to go do some other stuff. And then it needs thickening a bit, so I put some flour on it. Stir that in, let the flour cook. And now it's a good time to put in the sour cream and or creme fraiche, which I like to put in because it makes it have a nice creamy taste. And it's, it's not just cream, it's a bit sour. So that's lovely. I really stir fast, don't I? I'm getting so good at that. And it's time to dish out already. So remember, this took a couple hours to make, so... Speed photography. Oh, put it in the dish. It looks good with broccoli. Everything looks healthy with broccoli. Strogoloff goulanache. Yes. 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 You know it. It's great. <laughs>